Good morning, everyone. Um, I just woke up, but today is September the 24th, 2021. And I just wanted to come share um, some more health information with you. Um, for any new viewers that I have, my channel is All Things Health. Um, how to walk in victory with the Lord. And if you ever hear me talk about sin, I'm not judging you. I'm just letting you know that uh, sin will destroy your health. Um, it takes away from uh, your body being healthy and whole. So I just want you to know that I, I'm never judging you because I had struggles with sinning before the Lord um, as well because I lacked knowledge and I didn't have the teaching and the foundation of walking upright before the Lord. So I could never judge you. Because I used to be very active in uh, displeasing God and not walking right because of lack of knowledge. And God knew that. So if you ever hear me come out and just talk about, you know, walking up right before the Lord, it's because I know how it feels to live in darkness and to live in sin. And then I know how it is to be free from it and how to walk in power with God. So I just wanted to make sure that everybody understands that, that I'm coming from a place of compassion and understanding. And I just want people to be free of it. And there's a, a way uh, to do that. But with that being said, I want to move on and talk about um, the doctor. Remember I was talking about the Dr. Uh, Bronner's soap a couple of days ago? Just wanted to show you my Dr. Bronner soap <clears throat> that I recently purchased because because when I was talking about it a couple days ago, I actually needed to purchase another um, bottle. So what I did was I showed you an example of Dr. Bronner soap on my um, iPhone, but it has quite a few ingredients in there, um, all kinds of natural herbs and um oils and remember i was telling you that a, a dermatologist informed my family that this soap is a real soap because it has an acid base to it and it's not alkaline and it will exfoliate uh your skin um when you take a shower or when you take a bath so if you see extra skin shedding in uh, your shower water or your bath water. That's why. It's because this is a real soap. Um, the soaps in the conventional stores, they're alkaline. They'll shed a little bit of the dirt, but it doesn't get the... It doesn't go deep into the skin to exfoliate the dead skin and to remove um, bacteria that lives um, on the skin. So, I just wanted to... Um, share that with you again, and here's my here's my bottle. You can read some of the ingredients if you can see it that way, because it kind of looks, uh, you know, backwards on screen. But I just wanted to to let you see that. And then you know, this is fall. You know, we're into what the second or third day of fall now. So um, if you don't have any kind of kidney issues or anything like that. Uh, make sure you talk to your uh, doctor about keeping vitamin C, vitamin C um, in your body. I I use a, a couple of brands of vitamin C. Um, def I definitely don't purchase my vitamins and minerals from uh, conventional stores and drug stores. I always go into a, a real health food store like Whole Foods or, you know, I'll go online with Amazon and purchase real um, of vitamins and minerals. And so, uh, and I shared a testimony where my aunt, who is a, uh, retired, uh, educator, um, to keep her body healthy and strong and not breaking down, getting sick and not pass anything to her, her students and uh, from her students, not pass anything to her. She took at least 2000 milligrams of vitamin C every day. And for, many many years 30 something plus years while she was in the uh, classroom um she didn't get sick 
So I just wanted to share that uh, with you. So it's always good, especially since, you know, we're dealing with the time of plague to keep vitamin C uh, in your body. And then I purchased some new toothpaste. Um, it's fluoride free, kerrigan free, and it has herbs inside. And again, you know, I like the Tom's uh, toothpaste product. Uh, you should, if you're going to have fluoride, it should come from a natural source, um, such as grapes with seeds. Um, all your fruits and vegetables should always have a seed inside, but you get natural fluoride in grapes and you can look it up, Google it, see what foods are high in fluoride and get your, get your fluoride into your, in your body naturally, not the chemical stuff that they put in conventional toothpaste. That's going to make you sick. So just letting you know um then i also told you that i uh, make my own toothpaste sometimes when i have some downtime I'll, I'll go and make my own toothpaste but um i wanted just to stop by share some um encouraging uh, encouraging uh words with you my platform just in case you don't know as a platform of victory Lois talks about all things victory, how to overcome, how to be successful, how to uh, win in life. So, you know, um, that's just my platform. So, um, and, and it's because, of, you know, first of all, I'm a nurse. And I know just from my years of experience of being a nurse on the floor, uh, what people are going through. I know the pitfalls. Um, I've already shared with you guys that I've worked with people who were diagnosed with COVID-19 and I had to teach the doctors and the nurses how to save lives because they're not trained in natural health and they overlook the basics of building the immune system. I, you know, I had to, to let the doctors know they have to add vitamin D and vitamin C. I mean, it's just basic health information. I told y'all, I learned this stuff in junior high school. And then when I became a nurse, um, I learned more about how to build the immune system. Um, so God has been sending people to me who were in the ICU units where, you know, he has spared everybody's life. Not one person did God send to me uh, die. And then now God is sending me people who have a vaccine injury. And um, I've shared this before, if you, uh, and I'm not judging you, if you've been vaccinated with the COVID-19 vaccination, you must get that poison out of your body. You got to get it out. So I've been telling people to um, uh, flush out their body with organic coffee enemas, uh, go get some colonics. Um, get with your doctor, see what, uh, herbal teas and stuff you can get. Cause you gotta, you gotta cleanse your blood at this point and you gotta work on, uh, building your immune system. You definitely need vitamin D and vitamin C, but you always have to get your doctor's permission. So again, you know, I, I don't judge people. I, what I do is I help people make it over to the winning side. So, uh, uh, I'm all things victory. I'm all things that are related to victory. Anything to help people win, anything to encourage people to live and not die and declare uh, the works of the Lord. So this is Lois Banks coming to you from Lois Banks Ministry. Um, again, you know, I'm not coming before you as a, um, I, I don't judge. You know what I'm saying? Because I never know how people get to their decisions. All I know is, this information that I'm sharing with you on my um, on my YouTube platform, if um, you if you are a Christian, even if you're not a Christian, but if you are a Christian, this information should have been coming from the church. But because it's not coming from the church like it's supposed to be, God is raising up people like me um, to to just get the message out there to let people know what they need to do because this is all related to the the principles in the word um, of the living God. I told you before in other platforms that I've already sent out a proposal to uh, Deb, uh, Senator Debbie Stabenow, letting them know that I know that basic health protocols are not taking place in the, in American hospitals. And these are the steps that we need to place in order just to give basic care to anybody diagnosed with COVID-19. And I sent that same proposal to the United Nations so that the global leaders will get involved 
and do the right thing because you got to let people know you know what's going on and you that you know the answer even though it could they could be on another agenda i don't even care about any of that my agenda is to save as many lives as i can and to help as many people um, as i can know how to live in their body according to the word um of the living god so you know um, because I'm dealing with life and death situations, you know, a lot of things that I'm saying on my platform um, have maybe a serious tone to it. And it's because I'm dealing with human life. And um, that's just how it is. So listen, I want everybody to have a uh, blessed day. Um, don't forget there's a plague going on out there. Uh, there's uh, um, different... Uh, um, Ah, strains of the variants of the COVID-19 floating around. So, you know, the plague has not stopped. So you, you have to be mindful um, of that. Um, you know, the holidays are coming. you got to be mindful of how you're going to gather around people. You must. You must wear a mask. And I'm wearing a mask because God told me to wear a mask. I don't listen to anybody else except for what the Lord tells me to do. And the way he showed me was he, uh, I was reading my Bible. He showed me myself in the Bible with a, with a hazmat suit on with my mask. And he was telling me to keep my mask on and stay covered up. So I'm, I'm obeying what God says to do. I don't hear, listen to nobody else except for God. And that's how, that's, that has been my message to everyone. You have to know God. You cannot play around and pretend you know God. Playtime is over. Pretending is over. If you don't know how to hear from God, you got to start practicing now. Talk to God quietly in your spirit. Get in quiet and allowing God to talk back to you. He might not talk back to you the same day. He might talk back to you um, a different day. But how? when he does talk, pay attention and do what God tells you to do. This is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks Ministry.